In this video, I'll show you how to design a footer for your Shopify store that's not only functional, but also stylish. Your footer is displayed at the bottom of all the pages in your online store, making it one of the most important sections to optimize. It offers several benefits, such as improved navigation by letting customers jump to key pages without having to scroll back up, builds credibility by providing access to key information and policy links, and can even improve SEO with relevant messaging. Follow along as I demonstrate the various options to design your Shopify store footer, including how to customize the layout, add new footer blocks, display your brand information, and show accepted payment methods. There are also several other personalization options we'll cover, such as showing your social media icons, your store's policy links, and even how to add an email sign-up form. An optimized footer ties your store together, which can improve shopper experience, build trust, and enhance professionalism across all pages. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to design your store footer. But before we get started, if you haven't joined Shopify yet, head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you're looking to launch an e-commerce store, Shopify is definitely the most popular and in my opinion, the best platform you could use to build your online business. No credit card is required to start your free trial and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can select a Shopify pricing plan that best suits the size and the stage of your business. So if you're ready to take the plunge and launch your own e-commerce store, go ahead and click the link in the video description to try Shopify for free. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the theme customization menu. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the online store tab. This should take you over to the themes page. Here's where you can access your theme library, add new themes, and customize your current theme. So to access the theme customization menu, let's click the customize button at the bottom right here. This will take you over to the theme customization menu. So from the theme customization page, let's go to the menu on the left hand side. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you should see the footer section. Here's where you can personalize your footer and add new sections. If we go to my footer in the preview on the right, we can see it currently has some default content. We're going to be updating this and adding a lot more. So let's go to the footer section from the menu on the left. If you like, you can click the add section tab and from the menu here, you could add an email sign up to your footer. If I click this, the email sign up section will be added right above my footer content. I have my heading, my description, and the place where customers can enter their email. To customize the section, we can use the menu on the left here. From here, you can select the color scheme for your email sign up section, select whether or not to make the section full width, and adjust your section padding. But for my homepage, I already have an email sign up section, so let's delete this one by going to the tab here and clicking the trash can icon on the right hand side and my footer email sign up section has been removed. So next, let's go over how to customize the main section of my footer. First, let's select our customization settings by clicking the footer main tab here. This will take you to a menu where you can select the various options and settings for your main footer section. Using the drop down menu at the top, you can select the color scheme for your footer section. There are several color schemes to choose from, and if you want to create a custom color scheme, you can do that in your theme settings. For my online store footer, I think I'm going to go with the black color scheme. And using the next option here, you have another way to add an email sign up to your footer. If we enable the option here, we'll have a new email sign up section appear at the bottom. I actually like the size and location of this email sign up section, so I think I'll leave it enabled. And using the next text field here, we can add the heading for our email sign up. By default, it simply says subscribe to our emails, but I think I'm going to change this to join our newsletter. There we go. And using the next section here, we can add the follow on shop button to our footer. Showing the follow on shop button in your footer will allow customers to follow your store in the shop app from your storefront, but keep in mind, shop pay must be enabled. And if we scroll down to the next section here, you can select to display your social media icons in your footer. This will show the icons for all the different social media brand pages that you have linked to your Shopify store. If you haven't added your social media links yet, you can do that in your theme settings. And underneath this, You'll have several options enabled by default, including your country and region selector, your language selector, your payment methods, and your policy links. These are all pretty standard for a footer, but feel free to remove any of these if needed. And if you like, you can use the last two sections here to adjust the spacing and the padding of your section. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So we finished customizing the bottom section of our footer. Now let's go over how to add our blocks. If we go to the footer tab drop down menu, 
we can see there's currently one block enabled by default, which is our brand information. If we click the block here, it'll open up a menu where we can edit our brand information. And underneath this, we can select whether or not to show our social media icons. If you need to edit your brand information, simply click the link here. This will take you to your theme settings. Simply scroll down the list here and go to the brand information tab. Here's where you can edit the headline, the description, and the image for your brand. Feel free to edit this if you like, but once you're finished, go ahead and click the icon here to go back to the theme editor main menu. I can then scroll back down and go back to the brand information tab. So we've gone over how to edit our brand information, but underneath this, we can select to enable or disable our social media icons. Since my icons are already being shown at the bottom part of my footer, I think I'm going to disable these. Customers can still reach my brand pages using the icons at the bottom right hand side here. So let's click the back button and go back to the theme editor. So we've gone over how to customize the brand information block for your footer, but now let's see what else we can do. Not only can you have a brand information block in your footer, but also several other block types as well. For the spotlight theme and most other free themes on Shopify, there are four block types that you can add to your footer. This includes a brand information block, which can display details about your brand, your logo, and social media icons, a menu block, which allows you to display a navigation menu in your footer, a text block, where SEO-friendly text can be used to highlight important information, and an image block, which can be used to showcase an image in your footer. To add a new block, simply hover your mouse underneath the first block, and you should see the add block icon appear. If you select this, it'll open up a menu with several block types that you can select from to add to your footer. For your footer, you can add a menu block, a brand information block, a text block, or an image block. So to add a menu block to my Shopify store footer, let's click the option here. And my brand information block will be shifted over to the side, making room for my menu block. So to edit my footer menu, let's click the quick link option underneath the footer tab. This will open up the menu where you can edit your menu heading and select the menu that you want to use. So to edit my heading, I can simply type in the heading that I want to use into the text field here. And to replace, edit, or remove your menu, simply click the drop down menu here. To change my menu, I can click the replace tab and it'll open up a menu displaying all the menus that I've created on Shopify. I could simply select one of these, or if I like, I could create a new menu using the tab up top here. But for my footer section, I think I'm gonna add my main menu. So if I click to select it, my menu should be changed in my footer menu preview on the right. So if we look at my footer, it now displays my brand information and my main menu. But if we go back to the footer tab on the left hand side and click to add another block, we can see there are a couple of more options available. Using the next option here, we can add a text block to our footer. And once again, things will shift around a bit and you should see the text block appear in your footer. So to edit your text, let's click the heading block underneath the footer tab on the left hand side. This will open up a menu where you can add your heading and your subtext. For your text block, Feel free to highlight important information, such as your store details, product promotions, or other brand content. For my text, I'm just going to add a short about us section to give a little information about my brand. For your text, feel free to add formatting, links, or other customization options. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So now if we go back down to my footer, we can see that I have my brand information, my menu, and my about us text. But there's still one more block type that we can add to our footer. So let's go back to the footer tab on the left hand side and click to add a new block. From the list here, you should see the image block. If we click this, it'll add a menu placeholder to our preview on the right. And you should see the image tab appear on the left. So once we add our image, it should appear in the space here. So let's go to the footer section from the menu on the left and go down and select the image block. Here's where we can add and adjust our image. So to add an image to my footer, let's click the select button at the top here. This will take you to your image library. To upload my image, let's click the add images button here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use in my footer. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. For my footer image, I just added a square image displaying some of my products. But my image looks a bit small, so let's use the slider bar underneath here to increase my image width. There we go. I think that looks much better. And using the last option here, we can select our image alignment on large screens. I think I'm going to keep mine centered. So once you're finished adding your image, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So for my footer, I've finished adding my brand information block, my menu block, my text block, and my image block.
To see how it looks on widescreen desktop, let's click the full screen icon at the top here. So let's take a look at the desktop view of my footer. I have my four footer blocks here, which is the brand information, menu, text, and image blocks. And at the very bottom, I have my newsletter sign up, my follow on shop button, my social media brand page icons, my country and region selector, the payment methods my store selects, and my copyright info and footer links at the bottom. I think this is starting to look like a professional footer. So let's click the mobile icon at the top here to see how it looks on mobile devices. And here's how my footer will look on mobile devices. Instead of displaying blocks side by side, everything will be displayed in a single column. I think this looks pretty good, but feel free to look over your footer and see if you need to make any changes. Also, if you wanted to rearrange, hide, or remove any of your footer blocks, you could easily do that as well. For my footer here, I really don't need my brand information and an about us section, so I think I'll remove my brand information block. If we go to the brand information tab on the left hand side here, we can see there are two options to remove the block. We can either click the trash can icon to completely delete it, or simply click the eyeball icon to hide the block so we can bring it back later if needed. I'm going to use the eyeball icon to hide the block just in case I want to use my brand information block in the future. So now my footer only has three blocks, which is my menu block, my text block, and my image block. If you needed to rearrange your blocks, you could easily do that by going to the left hand side of the block tab, then clicking and dragging it to the position you wish. There we go, and my menu blocks have been rearranged. Feel free to rearrange your footer blocks until you get everything exactly the way you want it. So before you continue, make sure you use the icons up top to check and see how your footer looks on all devices to see if you need to make any changes. But if everything looks good, make sure you go up to the top right of the page here and click the save button to save your changes. And my new footer has been added to my online store. Now when customers view my footer, they can use it to navigate my store and view important information and links. So that's a quick overview of how to design a professional footer for your Shopify store. And if you still haven't joined Shopify, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Spotlight theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.